have kind of a different name. So if you think Gail, but with an L, Gail Lale. I thought it would be really fun to flip through my February Traveler's Notebook setup. I get so many questions about what a Traveler's Notebook is. And after I get that question is, what's the practical use for it? Um, and what are some things I could do with it? So I thought it'd be fun to flip through um, my working Traveler's Notebook. This is the one that I use for work, for my job with Simple Stories in Carpe Diem. So it has uh, my brain when it comes to work. So I'm gonna open it up here. The, um, the Traveler's Notebook that I'm using here, this is the Aztec one from Carpe Diem Planners, and I will link that um, in, the, um, in the information below about the video. So I always start out when I set up a new month I always start out by decorating the pockets. And um, for me, it's just um, something fun. It's, uh, it's really purely creative. I like to be um, creative and I like to get a little bit of creativity in every day. So decorating the pockets not only gets me kind of that creative outlet, but when I open up my traveler's notebook, it's usually because I have something to do, right? So if I have something to pretty to look at when I first open it up, then it makes me happy. Now, um, I could absolutely use um, the pockets more uh, for function as opposed to form. And in that case, I could put you know, business cards in there. I could use credit cards in them. I know that sometimes people use a traveler's notebook for a wallet. So I could put a lot of different things in here. It doesn't always have to be cute, but that's, that's how I like to approach it. When it comes to the inserts, I always do something um, that I came up with about a year ago, maybe a year and a half ago, um, called slip covering. And if you think back to maybe being in elementary school, depending on how old you are, when we used to have to cover our textbooks with a brown paper bag. That's basically what I do with my inserts. So for example here, this is a, um, an insert from Carpe Diem that I have not covered. But what I've done here is I have taken a, um, one of my inserts and I've just slip covered it so it's not really attached. If I pull this off you can see it's not attached. I just um, take a piece of 12 by 12 scrapbook paper and cut it down and then use a little bit of washi there to temporarily adhere that so that um, I can continue to use that same insert next month for March and I haven't, um, I haven't kind of ruined the insert so to speak by covering it with February you know product. So um, that is what I do usually every month to all my inserts. This is just a cute little paper clip that I made um, for this month. And that's something that can be form and function. Obviously it can be cute. So it's something nice to look at when I first open it up, but I can also use it as a page marker um, if I wanted. So I know that oh, that's where I am in the month. Okay, so let's now take a look at this first insert. The first insert that I use, these are daily inserts from Carpe Diem. And you guys, this is not pretty, right? This is just really chicken scratch. These are, you know, everything that I need to do on a day-to-day -day basis. And um, I live and die by these daily inserts because I pretty much write down everything that I need to do every day. What I've done here is I have taken a, um, a six by eight pocket page from Simple Stories and I have, um, if there's two four by six, actually there's space for really two four by six photos. But what I've done is I put four by six stickers in there so that I have stickers with me on the go. If I want to decorate, um, I want to add a little something to a page, then I already have that um, right there with me. So that's kind of a fun thing to do. And those are just the four by six stickers from Kissing Booth. And that is the first my first insert. That's the daily insert I use. Um, I did another slip cover here and added a little bit of a doily and added some stickers from the Kissing Booth collection. This one that I'm using, this is um, the monthly insert. So um, here is my monthly insert and generally I do decorate my calendar like this, believe it or not. Um, and I just, again, it goes back to that I like to be creative and have a little bit of fun with things. So this is what you call a before the pen look. That means I have not gone in yet and added um, everything that's going to happen in the month of February. So typically what I do here is I add kind of the bigger things, maybe meetings that I have, or if I'm going to be out of town teaching or out of town on vacation, um, things like that. Um, lacrosse games for my son, when my husband's traveling, I'll put those big things here. And then my daily to-dos, I, I kind of work on in that daily insert that we looked at. Now, um, what I have here I wanna show you. Typically what I do is when it comes to my daily, or excuse me, my monthly, uh, my monthly calendar, I, um, I use a pencil because a lot of times there are things that are moving around. Um, if I'm scheduling things and they need to move, I use a pencil so that I can erase them. So what I've done here is I've made an extra little kind of clip that I can just attach right there. 
and I put a little bit of um, elastic stretchy ribbon and I tuck my pencil right in there so I always have that pencil with me um, whenever I need it. And that is my monthly, uh, my monthly insert. Then um, I have added kind of this fun little zippered pouch. So over here it's got a zipper where I can add little bits and pieces and things like that, um, die cuts, if I want to continue to decorate throughout the month. And then on this side, this is normally a place for credit cards, but what I've done here is I have added um, a couple more die cuts. And they're a little bit decorative, but they're also functional. And then here I've taken a wax-coated playing card and wrapped um, a couple of different uh, kind of valentine -y or loved themed, loved color at least, um, washi for the month. So that way I have washi with me on the go. And this works really well when I use a wax coated playing card because the fact that it's wax coated, the washi comes on and off very easily. It's not sticking to paper. So I have that if I want to decorate. Uh, so I'll just slide that little guy right back in there. There is also a pocket here on the back side. So if I wanted to add additional things, maybe additional stickers or some stamps or something like that, um, here I have some puppy stickers from Kissing Booth that I've used, so I could slide that in there as well. So that's a really kind of great thing to have. My very last insert that I have, I have not, um, I haven't slip covered it, but this is just kind of notes. So I use these to kind of brainstorm and different things like that. In the back side of the traveler's notebook, there's another pocket there and another pocket there. So um, it's kind of, that's my setup for February. And um, like I said, you guys, I live and die by this. Um, I've been using traveler's notebooks, oh my gosh, probably for three plus years now. And um, this is what works for me. So it may not be what works for you, um, but I think if you can open your mind to all of the different things that you can do with a traveler's notebook and all of the different things that you can use a traveler's notebook for, you'll find, um, at least for me, it's, I know it's sounds funny, but it's been life-changing because this just works so well for me. It has everything I need right there, um, at least when it comes to work. Now, I do use more than one traveler's notebook at a time. I have a, um, what I'm calling a mindset reset, uh, health and wellness traveler's notebook that I use as well. And that is helping me to kind of track personal growth and some things that I want to work on for the year. And um, I have another video on that. So if you check out my YouTube videos here, you'll also see the video for that. I hope that was helpful. If you have questions on traveler's notebooks and anything I've done here, uh, leave a message for me in the comments. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye.